If you've seen my last video discussing tips on arming your trouble in Terrace Down map, you might have noticed that a lot of the map examples shown had a very retro or PS1 style look to them. I found that within the past few years, this old school style has become increasingly popular and can offer a unique spin to your map. In this video, we'll be looking into how you can achieve this pixelated effect for your source maps by using a built-in shader for the engine combined with crunching down regular high-res textures to a size that would have been more appropriate in the early 2000s. To start, we'll head over to textures.com and snag whatever material looks interesting enough. The smallest size available for the image is usually the best to work with. From there, we'll open this image in Photoshop or whatever image editing software you have. The only change we need to make here is reducing the size of the image. Generally speaking, I like to make most of my textures around 256 by 256 in size. You can try experimenting with 128 or 64 pixels instead to further crunch the image depending on what sort of aesthetic you're going for. When you're happy with the size, just export the image in TGA format so we can move on to getting it in game. For getting this to source, we'll again be using Yanzel's VMT editor. If you don't have this tool already, grab it from the download link in the description. Open up the VMT editor and go to Tools, Convert to VTF. Here you'll want to simply drag your image file into the list and set the output to the appropriate folder for the game and material path you want. For this example, we'll do Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod, Materials, Low Res. Now move over to the Flags tab and tick Point Sample. This is the shader parameter that will render your texture in a pixelated style, creating a sharper retro look instead of a blurry mess that you would get by using the same texture this size otherwise. Now just press Convert and you will have created a VTF file in the output directory you specified. Open that VTF file so that we can create the VMT file and give our texture a surface material. Generally, you can just select whatever material type best matches the image, save the VMT file as the same name as the VTF, and you're done. You should now be able to find and use your texture in Hammer. This point sample shader is rendered inside Hammer, so you will immediately be able to tell if you have done everything correctly.